The former president's after dinner DJ sessions include his favorites played at a high volume and same vibe at his rallies. He controls the playlist, disregarding advisors regarding topic, tone, or volume. Okay, this is just getting funny. Now, they tried indicting him, they tried defaming him, they tried to bankrupt him, they tried calling him a traitor. And now the little influencers online are even attacking Trump because of his favorite songs, his playlist. Now, some nights at Mar-a-Lago, the president likes to play DJ, blow off a little steam. I've been there when he does it. It's actually pretty funny. Not that I haven't teased him on some of his choices, but that's the fun of it. Um, so Axios wants you to think this is all a bad thing because no one can have fun except the liberals, right? They, they write, after dinner, he'll open his iPad and play the hits. Sometimes it's so loud that people have trouble talking. Trump spinning through his golden oldies provides a telling lens into his style on a much bigger stages. It captures his obsession with a few familiar hits, controlling the volume, never changing. <laughs> Joining me now is someone who knows a little bit about music and playlists, my old buddy Kid Rock. All right, Bobby, it's good to see you tonight. Um, we're going to talk about your new you, tour are in you a really minute. Which are, you, are you really doing a story on this? <laughs> well, you were going to come on, so I had to think of something. Um, now, this was my favorite part of this piece, and I know you love making fun of these people. His excitement never fades. He seems like a kid with a new toy every time he turns to that iPad. It feels like the first time he's heard or shared the crooning of Sinatra or the life hard lived edge of Johnny Cash. All right, Bobby, they've run out of things, yeah. officially have run out of ways to attack Trump. That's, that's exactly how I feel when I play music. Every time I hear one of my favorite songs, whether it's something from 50 years ago or something from two days ago, I come alive, I want to play it again, I turn it up. I've been on the golf course with him, you know, a multitude of times, and and the the iPad has only come into play in the last few years. I'm not for sure, and I don't want to blow up his spot, but I think it's because maybe everyone's talking to him all the time. He's like he just turned up the music <laughs> a little bit and drown him out. But man, he's got so many good songs playing. It's like it's a playlist I would play. I've heard House of the Rising Sun. I've even heard Springsteen songs. You know, Elvis, uh, Elton John, um, and then there would be these patriotic tunes or whatever. I, I would employ him. I think I told him, I said, Mr. President, I said, you know what you should do? You should just play the Star Spangled Banner, a different version of it, over and over and over again, so we could just l watch liberal tears fall like rain. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Well, he plays Phantom of the Opera, right? Jesus Christ Superstar, Suspicious Minds, Elvis. A Hello by Lionel Richie. He also has Guns N' Roses, James Brown, Sinead O'Connor. James Brown. And you can't, yeah, I mean, that's that's what I'm talking about. And, of course, Stones, you can't always get what you want. Um, so what do you think of that playlist? I, it's awesome. Freaking the best. And how cool is it he's jamming out to music, having a good time? And, by the way, he's playing a lot of artists that probably don't agree with his politics, to put it lightly. But what does that say about him as a man? You know what? Music should be universal. Univer yeah, blah, blah. Universal. Uni music should be <laughs> universal for all of us to enjoy no matter what and get along in no matter what scenario, whether we're at a wedding, dancing, whether we're at a party, whether we're on a you golf bet. course or whatever. Music, whatever's good, should just rise to the top and we should celebrate it, especially American music. I know. And the thing about this is that it's fun. And, and again, the left feels like they're, they're somehow threatened when other people are having fun and it doesn't involve one of their, you know, pet projects or one of their, you know, you know whether it's porn, pot, whatever they're into. If you're not agreeing with them politically, you don't deserve to have fun, whether it's at NASCAR or driving a big, uh, you know, pickup truck. or they, they, they feel threatened by that. And so this is just one way to feel annoyed or threatened that someone like Trump, with everything they've thrown at him, is still able to have a little fun. What, why can't people have fun? I thought they were all about fun. Man, I think that uh, empty wagons make the most noise. And when all these far-left lunatics and far-right ones are like, 
always screaming at the top of their lungs. They get the headlines for clicks and views and whatnot. I think most people are pretty, they, I think most of us have a smidge of common sense to be able to know, you know, what's good, what's bad, just the basic things in life. And um, I say, you know, well, how do I say that on the air? I'd say rock out with your you know what out. Just if you like the music, have a good time. Like just whatever it is, man. Celebrate life. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Now I see you're wearing a is that a Budweiser hat? Like wasn't it is a year ago, right? That you famously posted that video of uh, I think you were shooting some uh, oh. Bud Light cans um, after the Dylan Mulvaney uh, I... controversy. So you've lightened up on Bud Light. This is a cool hat. I don't know. Um, man, that is just, man, we got, <clears throat> we got, I didn't know what hat I was wearing. We got bigger targets. I mean, when you look at what, uh, what who just Planet Fitness, like, what are they doing? Like, Ben and Jerry's, uh, I don't want to put any targets on people's back. Target, like, I talked to the dudes from Bud Light or Anheuser-Busch, the CEO and the people, like, Man, they messed up. It's too bad they just won't say it. Like, hey, we messed up a little bit, you know, whatever. But that's not how they're cut. And um, you know what? I, I got my answer, and uh, <clears throat> I don't want to. I don't want hurt people's jobs and stuff like that when they don't have any dog in the fight. But um, there's a whole lot more companies we should be going after for sure. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.